you will see confidence turn around in this country much, much faster than I believe people are expecting. I imagine there'll be people making a decision in real estate six weeks from now that they wouldn't make at the moment because the news is going to get that much better, that much faster. The yeah. only thing that um, would really throw a spanner in the works, and I don't see it happening, the only thing that would really throw a spanner in the works is if the second wave decrease in numbers of infection that we're now experiencing in Victoria was suddenly to sharply turn around the other way and go out of control again. And I, I don't think that's going to happen. And I mean, you know, just talking about interest rates particularly, the cost of borrowing and locking in long term now is so cheap uh, that when you look to the opportunities in which you can reinvest, the arbitrage has never been as good. Uh, and it's going to be like that for some time. And there, a lot of people just won't be able to resist the opportunity if they understand uh, what that opportunity is. Say you've got a $2 million house with no mortgage, you can go and borrow a million dollars on it at 3%, walk down the street and reinvest it at 6%. It's crazy. <laughs> um, and, and, and because that is, the that is the case, that margin might reduce a little bit, but it's not going to go away entirely. And, it's a, and, and also, you know, in the housing market, I used the word earlier, underpin. Two of the major underpins are as this. For many people, what used to be a rental payment is now um, about the same as what a mortgage payment will be in this low interest rate environment. It always used to be that mortgage payments were so high, so you'd rent. That's the way a lot of people saw them. Well, now they're about the same within a certain value range and a certain LVR. So that that of itself will allow a lot of people to go in and, and, and become home buyers. And um, the other thing is, is that there's been a huge amount of people who have just been out of the uh, being able to buy, buy because they it was just a bit too expensive to get involved in real estate. That affordability has increased enormously. And um, if values did start to fall any further dramatically, combined with the low interest rates that are available, a lot of people that previously couldn't buy would rush in and underpin the market, given that mm. opportunity. So there's there's almost like a sort of a, a safety net under the uh, existing values. Yeah.